All right. I see you have a few in the background waiting. So I just thought I'd come on after Kathy and Colleen and try this again. <laughs> it's addictive. So gel printing. So I just went out and picked all this out of my garden and some weeds behind the bush area <laughs> so we'll see what we can do with these and also a few other experiments with them that i saw a few people doing one of them being um pressing them they actually did it hammered but we're going to see what if I put it through my um, big kick if it'll do anything you never know so let's wait for uh, Kathy to be finished I know she was finishing hey Lena <laughs> yep we're going to play or I'm going to play. <laughs> you want to play along? I've just got some odds and sods of different uh, leaves and a few flowers, different textures. Hey, Janet. So I thought I'd play. Have you done any of them, Lena? <laughs> yep, we went to the garden today. And I saw, I saw someone, um, it was a, uh, I think it was on uh, Facebook or somewhere. It was an advertising for um, doing crafts with your kids. And they were actually taking flowers, putting them between two pieces of paper, and then hammering them with a hammer. And you get the print and the color of the flower when you do that. I got a fig tree and a giant and with giant leaves inspired by Colleen. I'm going to try joining those giant. Awesome. Try it. It's fun. Any leaves, really. I even used dandelions, and they worked great. Hey, Gina. <laughs> so I thought we could play. I might give that a try in my big kick and see what it does. Maybe even try it in between... Um, a file folder, like a embossing folder. I wonder what that would turn out like. Did they just hammer on the flower buds? That sounds a bit fun. Yeah, they just like put the flowers down, put another piece of paper, and then they just took the hammer and hammered it. And they got some really pretty um, colors and stuff. But now whether they colors fade after a while, I don't know. Oh, cool. You're, you're trying to learn Spanish. Awesome. It's a great idea, Gina. So I thought I'd try this. Might get the big kick out. And then I've got some, these are little miniature daisies that I have in my rock garden. So they're just like, I don't know, six inches high. So I thought I'd see what these would do. And this is called Snow on the Mountain. It's the fuzzy leafed ones. This is Creeping Jenny. It's a ground cover. That might be kind of cool. We'll see what it does. And this is Black Lace Elderberry. This is for my birch tree. It's got a lot of texture on this, so I thought it might print well. 
And this is from a columbine from one of my cedar trees. Primrose leaves. This is hibiscus, or not hibiscus, um, hydrangea. Some yarrow. This is off of my, I even have a flower left. We could, we could smash this one. <laughs> This is off of my, um, it's called a purple robe locust. And that's off. Oh, and then there's my, one of my uh, flowers, my irises. So I thought that we might try and smash this one. <laughs> Sounds bad, but. And this is off of my beach, or birch, no, beach. It's got a little bit of pink in it, but it's very textured. This would be really good for printing. Piece of grass, more yarrow, um, bee balm leaves. These are peony leaves. I thought I'd try a, this is a petunia. So I thought I might try a couple of those, smashing them. <laughs> and this is, um, oh, what's it called again? Uh, I can't think of the name now. False Indigo. And some, these are um, geranium. And that was false indigo leaf. That has a really different kind of leaf. Poppy. Um, that's a delphinium leaf. It's another hydrange. Here's a dried one. I don't know if this will work. It might end up being on my plate. I could spray through it though. But we'll try that one. Something different. And again, some dandelion leaves. This was um, wild violets. Creeping Charlie. <laughs> Wigalias. Um, pinks. We'll just try all kinds of stuff. I thought, what the heck? See what it does. Do we Galia? So I thought we could try and I want to just try it to put those flowers through my. Um... <laughs> Hi, Eileen. We're going to put some flowers through my big kick. <laughs> Never a dull moment here. <laughs> now let me get it out. Oh, look how dusty it is. That's how often I use it. <laughs> God. Oh. Holy vanoli. It's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I thought we could try in between papers first, see what it does. Um. Guess we'll have to cut it in half, or I could fold it in half, maybe. Uh, yes, I'm going to smash them. <laughs> That'll go through. 
Okay, let's see. We'll put some of these. Now, I'm not putting the full flower in, not with these big ones, but well, let's see what we get. Maybe some of these stamens. A few bugs. <laughs> Try this petunia. We'll put it down like this in the leaf. Maybe the green will come up. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try one of these. Maybe we'll get some color out of this too. Geranium. All right. Fold it over. Put it in between the plate. Now, I can't remember um, about the plates. Do I need all of them? Probably. I think it needs to be, it's not hard, but I think it needs to be more, I need to put some more stuff in there. I haven't got an extra plate. Let's see. Um, I'll just fold some paper. Just need a little bit more thickness. Ah, oh, this is going to be... I haven't got it on a sturdy enough. <laughs> Sliding table. <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, we might have another neat thing to use our uh, thing. Oh, cool. Suppose if you left it to dry and then took it off, it might be easier once it's dry. That's cool. These geranium leaf um, flowers are cool. Well, the, it's interesting. You don't get any color from the poppy. Interesting. So you can see. A little messy. It's kind of like eco dyeing. <laughs> you have to pick up all, all the bits and pieces off your paper. It's 
So you probably have to experiment to see what flowers um, give off the most color. I do really like these. Um, look at that. Those are those. What are they called? Geranium flowers. It's not the geranium the, that you're thinking of, though. Lots of purple and blue. What was, what's there? That's kind of cool. Look, even those, um, you got the outline of the leaf in green. Let's see what it looks like once it's dried. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Embossing folder. I wonder what that would do. Well, I wonder if it would tear the... Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'd be scared of it tearing. Let's see. Let's try one with... Uh... Let's see. And another piece of paper. So these are the indigo, false indigo. This is the Wegalia. Do a couple more of those geraniums. They turned out cool. One there. One here. Let's try a leaf. See if we get any red off this one. May not. Those daisies. Uh, oh, try this. Let's uh, move some of these. I wonder if, let's put one of these on. Maybe just on the side here. See what happens to it. You never know. I'll make it just a smidgen lighter. I'm gonna do it off the <laughs> off the table just so that it's a little easier.
a whole lot better than taking your hammer and hammering the heck out of it. <laughs> well, that's cool. Neat. Let's dry it and see what your this is a hydro hair dryer. Okay, didn't I plug it in? I must have plugged it in. Oh. I can't get I hope I plugged that in. These didn't do anything. Those were the um, uh, flowers from the purple robe. Um, what do you call it? Ah, I can't think today. It didn't do a lot, just a slight orange tinge around the outer edge. But the the uh, purple robe really worked. It's a nice blue. And those geraniums really work. If anyone's got the regular, like the uh, Pelagonia geranium, should try those. Those are the um, annuals that you normally see. That's cool. And those are the, these were the, um, Wegalia, these here. That was from the locust, purple robe locust. That's cool. I really like the color that it gave. Just never know what you're going to find. See, this is so much easier than boiling for hours and waiting for days. Oh, no, I did. Look. There's the leaf. It did come out. Oh, my God. Oh. We may need to try some more of those. That's so cool. I like them. Let's do one on, uh, and this is just the what came through. <laughs> well, it'd be interesting to see how long they keep their color. Let's do one on watercolor. Everybody's going to go steal flower, go pick flowers from other people's gardens now. <laughs> you can just see it. Artist arrested. <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe we'll just put you know, all the leaves. I don't want to put too thick a stem on it because you could end up breaking your machine. Um, what else? There's that indigo. 
Oh, we could try some of these. See, of course, you got to make a pleasingly little arrangement. <laughs> At least I do. I always think about the composition when I do these things. It's just the way I work. Okay, and then what else? What else could we put in there? Oh, let's try one of these. See what color these give us. This is the elderberry. All right. Let's put another sheet on top and then this on top of that. Okay, be right back. Or you could just buy yourself some flowers. <laughs> There's an idea. No, I gotta have more than that on. Not enough. Oh, that's why I didn't put my plate on. I go through about three times. Watercolor should take more of the. Oh, 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 I found a good one. Look at the prints of the of these. Oh, watercolor paper, you guys. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, just found a new way to do eco prints. <laughs> Look at that. You get the stem and everything. Oh, these are gorgeous. So watercolor paper is the best. Small flowers. Look at look at the the detail in the leaves. You can see all the veining, and I love the color. This was the uh, uh, tricolored beach, but I love the green. Look at the green that I got from the uh, that was the um, black lace so uh, elderberry. Oh, guys, you got to get some, find out who's got these plants. <laughs> these are amazing. Okay. 
if you wet paper. Okay. I'm dying to know what would happen if you wet the paper a bit. Well, let's try it. I've got a bunch of plants here. I haven't got a lot of, oh, I only have one sheet left of this. I have to look for some. Just hold on. We'll try half Bristol and half watercolor. Because it's really heavy. I have to cut it down. You may have to go out and pick some more flowers. <laughs> I know, Paula. Gotta get that big kick out. Like, who would have known? I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it for this. <laughs> so, this is cool. Have you guys seen anybody do the, this type of printing? It's amazing what you'll think up when you're laying wide awake at <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else prints. Yeah, the indigo. I may have to go raid my Wigelia again. My big uh, purple robe is loaded with all kinds of flowers. Oh, here, daisies. Now this one could be a little bit harder. Get the center, but I don't know about anything else. Um, let's do one of these, see what it happens with that. And let's try and put this on again and see if we can get anything else. Might be able to reuse these. You never know. This one's a newer one. It's not feeling flat. <laughs> what else? This is the beech tree. Oh, we can try more later. Got lots of plants here. Oh, I was going to spray it. That's right. Spray. All right, we shall see. Got green juice coming out.
Oh, I can smell a cedar. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cedar trees. Everyone can get cedar trees. Very uh, aromatic, though. <laughs> Got the... Those are cool. These you can get a couple prints out of the leaves. It's not quite as um, dark. Let's dry that. I don't know if the water helped or not. You get the pattern of the daisy, though. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, look, that's cool. That's the back of the daisy. Cool. Can you, can you see the daisy, the back of it? Green. Need eh? <laughs> That is so awesome. I love them. So um this is the Bristol and this is the watercolor. So the Bristol doesn't take the color quite as much, but you do get detail. This the watercolor for sure it takes the color better. The leaves, the leaves even imprint into the paper. So you, you could actually take um, sprays and spray onto this, and it would darken those leaf um, veining even more. We'll try that. That's so cool. Uh, let's see what. Yeah, it's a nice bright green. Red cabbage, and you get the fun. <laughs> it would, that one would be very messy because that contains a lot of water. But go for it. <laughs> go for it, Lena. <laughs> Do you have any colored paper to see if it works on that? Uh, yeah, I got colored paper. Let me think. It would change the, the color you're getting. Like if I had yellow or blue and green or... Um, What do you want me to try? It's like that. Yeah, it is. It's so cool. 
<laughs> yeah, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> cabbage soup yeah you would need your processor <laughs> you just put it through your big kick <laughs> let it drain into a pot I suppose you know once you do <laughs> here's another thing it never goes to waste see you actually press them so now we can use them as dried flowers so you could now, because they're so squashed, they'd be easy for pressing. There you go. So it's a way of pressing your flowers, too. Let's try a piece of Stuff here. Here's kind of an aqua green. We have yellow, pink, and purple. Which one? Well, these ones, uh, we'll see. It's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll see what they do. Uh, anyone? Okay, so we'll let's do let's do purple. See what happens. And we'll let's put another one of these on. I'm going to use them all on this stuff. I was going to actually use my jelly plate. Let's put one face down and one face up. See what happens. What else? Here's a big leaf. And I think I'm going to try yarrow first. What other? Let's try some of this. You never know. Cut some of it. Snow on the mountain. And there's a leaf. Could probably stick that on there. See what happens. Um, I'm going to take a birch leaf and put it right in here and see what happens. Well, I guess I'll, a little short, but. That's okay. Good.
Oops, no, it's not going to need it. A little thicker. Smells like a florist shop in here. <laughs> all the squishing. Smelling all the pretty smells. Cool. These are even neat. Oh, cool. Look at that. So I wonder what the fall leaves will be like if you'll get color from like the maple leaves. See, I, that was a birch and you didn't get much. Seems to be the ones that have a darker color you get. See, I'm still getting, that's like the fourth time I've done that. So darker colored leaves seem to work a little better although like this is just like eco dyeing here that was a piece of yarrow but look at that that is so amazing okay there's all kinds of wild now it's not dark purple but i bet it would still work um <laughs> everyone's gonna be going driving in the country and get your rubber boots on and going in the ditch to get elderberry. <laughs> Look. That's so gorgeous. I'm excited with the dark leaf. <laughs> yeah, I worked on the colored paper. This was um, a little bit heavier. Like it's more of, well, I wouldn't call it cardstock. It's fairly lightweight. But yeah, it worked. So the one, this one was face down on this paper. So you're seeing more of the vein and the underside of the leaf, which is more detail. This one here was the um, turn the other side. So this was face up. So you don't see as much detail face up. See? Same with this. So when it's face down, it seems to give more detail. Let's try more of this and see if it makes a difference turned either way. And I have more um, leaves, different kinds of leaves too. I do like that watercolor paper though. Um, <sighs> Get another piece of watercolor. Where did I just put it? Oh no, it was Bristol. That was using. Let's use watercolor. I'll have to find it. Oh, here, I found some. Small pack. Perfect size. <laughs> I think I'll do one watercolor and one paper. 
Uh, this is a fun effect where you only get the outline when you can color it in. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try using some watercolors over top of it or sprays and see what happens because it imprints also. So anything with a really... Um, Anything that's very veiny seems to work really well. Let's try another piece of this. Or let's try another color. Let's try a peony leaf, see what this does. It's very um, textured. A peony leaf, here's a... Um, what are this called? Bee balm. And we'll put one up and one down. See what that one does. Um, this is um, Columbine. One of these. I think I'm going to take some of the center out. So it lays a little bit flatter. I'll put it right there. Well, I've got, well, I might have to run outside. It is remembered. I got some grasses. It's called um, blood grass. That might be interesting. Even the variegated ones might be interesting because of the different shades of green. And whoever would have known that we were pressing flowers. <laughs> Sure, Paul. I'll, I'll put them on my um, community for you if you want. But I, I like the idea. Look at look at this flower. It's like flat. So you can use these. Just put them in between paper. You don't have to worry about putting them down with a heavy brick anymore because you've already squished them. I think that's so cool or put them in the microwave. I might have to try that. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> hey, Dot. Dot, do you have a garden? <laughs> and a big kick? You might want to try this. Interesting.
I wonder if you press did this if you wanted pressed flowers and not have to tear them off. If you put them in between wax paper and did this, then you could lift them easily. Okay, this one didn't do a whole lot, but it's still pretty. Very faint. And that was the peony leaf. So it didn't do a whole lot. It just kind of marked more. That's probably where two of them were laying over top of each other. So it's more liquid. But still interesting. That's how you learn. Look, you even got different coloring coming out here. But flat leaf now. These really worked, and the yarrow worked. What else? That worked. I'm going to run outside and get this one thing. Be right back. Let me try this. All right. See, this is the blood grass. See, the tips are deep, deep red, burgundy. So let's try some of this. I'll put this on first.
This is some Barbary. <laughs> well, let's see what happens with this. It's beside it, so what the heck? Maybe we'll try it. You never know. That and I picked a few rose petals. And violets. Try one, see what it does. Never know. All right, where did I put? Oh, I'm not even putting it on paper. Duh. Where did I put that pad of paper? No, it's not under there. Well, where the heck did I put it? What I did with it. Oh my God, how can that disappear? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. That and of Bristol. I guess I should put that underneath. Doesn't seep too much. Cut those ends off. My sandwich. Again, I forgot another plate.
So don't roll it too fast either. I find if you roll it too quickly, it doesn't come out as clear for some reason. All right, let's try this. Oh, look, that's from the um, violet. Now, isn't that funny? On bond paper, it's blue. On watercolor paper, it's purple. Interesting. Oh, look, the grasses did come out. Awesome. Look, the green and purple. Oh, and those Barbary really came out nice. So did the violets. <laughs> You're going to be growing violets for <laughs> arting. That's cool. That's on the watercolor paper. These are the um, indoor violets that I'm talking about. Okay, that's interesting. On the Bristol, the um, rose um, petals came out, but not on the watercolor paper. Interesting. So this is... Uh, the Bristol, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the Bristol. Oh, cool, look, it bled blue. Huh, that must have been from this violet. It squished the juices all the way up. But the leaf is a little bit different. It's not as red as on the, and it's more of a pinky color on the watercolor. There's a lot more blue in the bond in the um, Bristol paper. So you get two different effects. I wonder if you wet these papers with your. Um, solution of um, allium and water and then did this and then just left them to dry if you would get more color bleeding out. So you can even see the petals of the violet. I love this. That is so nice. Could you start teaching a whole new class, Kelly? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I was thinking of this will be one of the classes in the membership. Um, different for art journaling, for different journaling techniques and um, what you do with them. and But I'll always share my, you know, bits and pieces um, on my Thursday streams. Yeah, wouldn't that look pretty? I've got a whole bunch of this stuff. That's going to be cool. So it looks like for pressing, 
anything with um, some kind of red tinge to it seems to come out the best. These here were pinks from your garden. They came out really cool and you got the little flower on top. That was the elderberry. And these were the purple be beech tree. That's interesting. Where the, um, the, the stems and the leaf crossed over, it got really, really dark. So the juices fell into that groove. Oh, I got another idea. What if we emboss first and then put the leaves on and then emboss it again? <laughs> that might be cool. Or another idea. Let's... I have a, one of these. Do I have a bigger one? I'm just scribbling. Let's see what this happens. See what else I got. A weed. I have a few extra. Oh, here's some little swagelias again. Let's put those on. Okay, let's try these. Um, Yeah, that's enough. Or maybe a couple petals. I keep losing my paper. Watercolor. I think that's interesting, though, that some stuff turns a certain color on one paper and a different on another.
to anyone with um, Japanese maples, that type of thing, that would probably work. Get any flowers just take off the like these didn't work because they were they're too um juicy with fluid but smaller flowers would work different colored petals Oh, I love that yarrow. That is such great. Oh, look at the detail in that stuff. Let's try it. Hey, Kathy, <laughs> we found a new way to use your big kick. <laughs> it's a lot less, less messy than eco-dying, and it's instant gratification. <laughs> you hate waiting. Look at the detail. That's a yarrow. Plant. This is the um, elder, elderberry. It's a black leaf one called black lace, like this. And then I put uh, that was the the geranium, garden geranium. And this is on um, Bristol paper. And this is on watercolor. And it depends on how you um, put your paper, your leaf down too. This here, ha I believe, is the right side up. So you don't get as much. And this is... Um, the back of it. You get a lot more detail. And those are just a few rose leaves or petals I put on. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone's going to raid their neighbor's gardens. <laughs> and I got um, beech trees, and this was um, uh, Barbary, and it really had beautiful color. The red Barbary, it was awesome. Try some of that. Let's put that away. Let's see what we can do with the imprint. Hmm. 
me clean this <laughs> mess up. And I was saying too that once you squish the mold down, if you actually, if you did this, if you just want um, pressed flowers, do the same thing but on wax paper and then um, leave them on the wax paper and let them dry. They'll be squished. You won't have to put weights and presses on them and everything. It's all the stuff's been squeezed out of them. There you go, Kathy. <laughs> when he goes out to do some clipping, tell him you'll you'll dispose of it for him. <laughs> Holy smackers! What a mess. Let's put this stuff in here. We'll do some experimenting. But try the flower petals too. I think they, they would be really cool. Different colored pet uh, flowers. You make your own potpourri. <laughs> your own oils. You're squeezing all the juices out. There you go. Talk about multitasking. You're making oil. You're making dried flowers. You're, you're making eco prints all in the one little swish. All right. You could build a bird of press it and layer the bird. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to put. I was gonna, I was gonna. Oh no! Wait a minute. I, that last one I did. Didn't do anything? I marked. I marked it. I don't see it. Was it this one? Is it this one? No. What one was it? Because I marked one. What was the last? Yeah, it was this one. But I don't see any anything going into the bits that I marked. Let's play with this one. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to wet my paint on the these things just to see if it goes into the If I go over it with many different colors, what will it do? Yeah, see it goes into the indents of the So anything that's got a, a thick vein, you're going to have more pigment fall into those areas. Okay. 
pick this one. Let's see what this one does. Oh, I'm all out of water. Yeah, I gotta fill my bottle. Your time, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll see how that turns out. This is on the um, Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, this is the Lindy's um, Moon Shadow Mist. The Moon Shadow, the sparkly stuff, goes down into the crevices. See the blue? That's neat. Let's try it on this one. See what it does. Put water. That's neat. I like how, see how it's going down the stems right here, the color. As it, as it dries, it'll, that's cool. Oh, I got another idea. See what happens to that.
I'll leave that on there. Yeah, it's neat. See how it that stuff dries? See how on the leaf there? It's gone into the crevices of that impression. So it embosses at the same time as it leaves a print, which is awesome. And these are the first ones we did. Okay. Yeah, these are the first ones we did just on plain old bond paper, printing paper. But it's still cool looking too. These we just pressed like this and then did it. But I look at the blue and the yellow and the orange. Like this is all from um that's there's no paint in this, Kathy. This is all from the leaves and the flowers. We got purple and mauve. Here's the other one, depending on. Well, these were, I just, um, from the poppy. These stamens from the poppy. I just um, picked, picked some off and threw them on the page, and that's what this is and that's one of the flowers so you can see the center of the flower in there like that's beautiful that was um some of creeping jenny this stuff so it's bright green Here's another flower. That was a petunia that I threw in. But I love these geraniums. They really give a beautiful color of blue. Yeah, aren't they pretty? I did use a leaf. And it did absolutely nothing, which was odd. I would have thought it would have, but didn't. But the, the um, stamens did. They were bright purple. I like that. I think it's cool. And I like the fact that you can see the leaf veining on the bond paper also. And these were really cool. different ways. I think these are awesome. This really turned out gorgeous. That, look at those leaves, how detailed they are. And that was the grass. These two are, one's on Bond, or not Bond, um, what, this one is on Bristol and this one's on watercolor. And that's the blood grass. But you got two different colors also. This is purple, and yet on the Bristol it shows blue. 
It's interesting. And that's the uh, Barbary. So you get two different colors of the Barbary also. This is watercolor and this is Bristol. And the um, rose petals didn't show on the watercolor, but it showed on the Bristol. So some show up more, some don't. It's very, uh, this is just the paper I use for soaking it up. <laughs> the leftover juices. So you can still use this. Just dry it. And that was just, now this hardly ever showed. That was Columbine, didn't do anything. So you kind of have to play with the flowers for pressing. <laughs> but who knew? Who knew until you try something? You never know. All right. Well, that was the other one. Not much happened on that one. Although that was the um, should put spray on that one. Let that sit. So yeah, play with your stuff. All right, now that we're finished with pressing flowers, <laughs> let's try some more mono printing. I did some of this years ago when I had a wizard machine. Still have it somewhere. You should, yeah, you should use it again. Try it again. I haven't seen anybody do this. It's neat. Right, let's put these away and dry. Somewhere. Holy oh, geez, you should see my room. <laughs> Craziness. All right, so I need the enabler. I got my paper. <laughs> 500 sheets for 10 bucks delivered. It, and that's what was wrong. It had a split in it. That's why it was 10 bucks. The package was ripped. But yep. So I thought we could play with some of that. See what we can uh, get going on that. Um, okay, I have my flowers. Got so much stuff here. <laughs> I'm in tears. Like different levels here. There was actually a, um, more there. 
if any of the Canadians want it. It was Warehouse. Warehouse deal. Oh, yours, what? This is very thin. Very thin. So we'll try it. It, it was, uh, oh, the tags all ripped. Eclipse, it's called. Astro something. Damage pack on Amazon, 518 ish. Where? Canada Amazon or your Amazon? Maybe they found out. <laughs> they raised the price. Flowers. All right, let's use Deli Rock here. I really squish to get all of the crevices, you get a really good print. This will turn out like I've never used the black before, but we'll give her a try. This might be too much on here. It feels like really nice paper. U.S. Amazon. Okay, this was in. Uh, Canada, Amazon. Could have taken a little more off background maybe let's try it's still pretty oh I gotta leave <laughs> surprise surprise it's still pretty you could use a marker of some sort to emphasize areas I 
Let's try it with um, tissue paper instead. I'm just going to roll off on here. And the delphinium leaf. Bigger leaf in one of these. Flowers. And this is just cheap tissue. See, it goes down more. I think it takes up a lot more than your deli. I find the deli wrap doesn't take up as much. Paint. Okay. And you could always. Find any areas. This one should be good. I think the trick too is having enough paint on your first initial roll so that it goes in between all the crevices of the leaf. My God, Oh, a feather? Yeah, that would be cool. Or just cut grass, sprinkle a bunch of grass. That would look also really cool. Yeah, a lot of times it's just the packaging's ripped. Oh, this one turned out nice. Look at that. That's cool. What other color? Let's try that copper color. Um, I 
find it. I love this color. You know, I don't have <laughs> Colleen's magic leaf. But we'll see what we can do with these. Just try it on black. Let's try it on the back of this one. Let's see what we get. Oh, cool. There's still some of that white with it. That's awesome. And the black. Okay. 
Neat. Okay. What else shall we do? Gold? The only problem with the black one is you can only do um, ones with metallics or white or a light color. Got any suggestions? Gonna have to be quick. <laughs> what about? The dragonfly and the color shift acrylics. I don't have dragonfly or color shift. Typically, I don't use a lot of this kind of color. I know you're gasping. <laughs> Should we dry this and do it with the white or put it on black? Yeah, we'll do it on the back of this one. That way, if you want to use it for book journaling, you can use both sides. It's fun, Sharon. You'll love it. It's pretty. Very muted, but it's pretty. Got a little bit of the of uh, copper going through there. Let's see, what else? Maybe we'll do a little of this one. And the white.
Big leaf, maybe a big leaf there. So as a mod, what kind of leaf links do you need? <laughs> how to raid your neighbor's <laughs> yard in, in the middle of the night. <laughs> the rules. Ooh, that's like a pretty more of a Rose gold color. Cool. It's hard to pick up. Okay, I'm going to dry that one. Sure. Then I'm going to put some doodads in of green, I think, or yellow, maybe yellow. My dryer. All right, now, do I put, what color should I put on top?
blue. on my I don't like the yellow on it. This one not it didn't show up as much. Okay. It's kind of dull. Yeah. Not the greatest. <laughs> I think it was the ends um the blue first and then the I did. So let's try that. Maybe we'll use this up.
make sure I got a good pull. Get as much of the background off as I can. this. Yeah, this one's going to be good. I can tell already. Right? All right, now we can pull this with that color. So let's turn this out. Put a gold, bit of gold in it with it. Yeah, Some crusty bits on my roller. Very, very light application of the top finishing layer. You should be able to see your layer below. <laughs> yep, pets are next. Nice one. Look at that leaf. That's a delphinium leaf. That's the birch tree. These are um, snow on the mountain. I'm telling you, I'm not going to do bother with eco printing on boiling. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> These are awesome. Look at, I even got a bit from the last time. You can see the print there. A little bit of, uh, yeah, leftovers. Great. Let's do one in Let's see. thinking. Let's try it in this color. This black, what is it? Um, 
Your Dice Blue Black by PBO. Let's try it. See what we get. And then you kind of have to have an idea what you want to, how do you want to arrange this? I kind of like using, um, arranging like a floral bouquet kind of thing. I think this time, let's try and make it so that we can, uh, journal if we wanted to. Uh, put a flower up here. All right. I'm going to leave a space for journaling. Now you can always reprint on top of this too. There's many ways you can um, enhance your prints afterwards. I'm going to be doing a lot of this, showing you what to do in my class. And if you're interested in learning more, check out my join button, my membership. And you'll find out what's involved in each level. A little bit more out, out of there. I love this blue black though. It is black and or kind of a gray, and then it turns that blue. Kind of reminds me of taffeta. how this one turns out. Dry it. Oh, look, pretty. <laughs> we may use these too. Why not? Okay, so. Got an idea. Don't know if it'll work. 
Hmm. I'm going to put copper on it. And then I'm going to put these leaves back on. Okay. Oh, that, but then that little, hmm, this could be tricky. Let me think. Thinking. I can hear the wheels rattling. Because if I pull it, it'll lift those other things. But I don't want it to let me think. Okay, I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to pull the leaves. Another experiment here. <laughs> okay, I have to... it'll turn out or not but this is the fun part of <laughs> arting is experimenting seeing what works now let's try that again
Let me think, what color do I want to lift this with? White, cream, or blue. I think I'm going to go cream. Think white. Look at that leaf. I should um, scan that. <laughs> Think white is kind of a transparent white. So, Debbie, you still on at four Eastern? My puppies are starting to complain. They want to be fed. So uh, this will probably be my last poll. And then we'll take a look at, see what how those uh, watercolors are drying on those other things. Okay. So anyone that doesn't know Debbie, go on Debbie App's site. She'll be next. Mm, didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but it's still pretty. It's very, yeah. I don't think I had enough paint on for these. I think when you re-roll, your paint ends up um, lifting. So that one wasn't a good one. But let's clean it up with some white. Opa. Oh, let's just do t a titanium white. And then we'll take a look at those other... Can't have too much paint on your pole because it won't lift all the dry stuff on your jelly plate if it's too thick. So you gotta make sure you have a fairly thin application of paint. I'm gonna use black as well. I do like this black paper. It feels really nice. I think we'll probably do some um, reverse charcoal painting on it. I still marvel of how clean your plate is. <laughs> well, I haven't used it a lot, lot. Mm, 
Not bad. Oh, I got some really cool uh, on the black. Kind of looks blue. It's kind of cool. Distressed looking. Be a good background. And I think you. I just use a baby wipe for cleaning it up. I've never oiled it. All right. was fun. We've got some of these done. These are the, that was a fail, but you can still use these. You can reprint them if you wanted to. You can always use these. This is tissue paper. This is always cool to be used up in whatever. And that was a white one what we did. This one I'm not crazy about. And that was our black and gold with a bit of copper in it. That's our copper one. You can see a bit of the um, creamy colored iridescent paint. See the difference? This needed to have more paint and needed to be rubbed around the edges more and it would have been a lot clearer. Whereas this one had a more paint and that's why it came out more. So it's, it's just a matter of practicing to get those right. But I do love our new way of eco printing. <laughs> These turned out really cool. And there's another way. There's also another way using alcohol inks. And I'll do that on the members page. So if you're interested, you can join. And we'll do that. So see, the, it does go down into the embossed areas that the leaf makes when you press them. So that's cool how it goes into that. There's another one. This is still wet, but yeah, it does go into the areas and makes them, gives them a little bit of glimmer. And these, I love these. I can't get over these. And this is just uh, plain copy printer paper. So I'm going to make some more of these. You, these look like eco prints, but more colorful because you're using the uh, dye from the flowers. I think those turned out really cool. I got lots of flowers, so I'm going to be doing a lot of those to see what colors you get. So it'll be interesting. That was on colored paper or Bristol paper, and this one is um, watercolor. So you do get two totally different color combinations. One's more blue, 
and the others got more purples. And this one, this one's pretty well dry, so it'll be interesting to see how much color it um, holds. I just love the way the different colors are, though, of each thing. This is no paint at all. This is just the dye from the leaf that comes out. So I think these are really awesome. Like, I can't get over the detail on that. Yeah. That one. Again, two different types of paper. Two different colors. Like this one's purple, and this one's blue. Yeah. So I hope you had fun watching me experiment. And, um, yeah, we've got about 15 minutes to go get something to eat or go to the bathroom, let the dogs out. <laughs> and then uh, we can go head over to uh, Debbie's. Spray a few with a fixative and clear varnish spray. Oh, that's a good idea, Debbie. Yeah, I'll try that. See what, make sure they're good and dry, and then I will see what happens to them. I wonder if I should do both sides. I'll do some one side, and I'll do the others both sides and see what happens. But I just love that yarrow. That's yarrow. That is so awesome. All right. Well, thanks for coming, guys. And I'll let you go. And we'll see you on Thursday at 1 Eastern. And not sure what I'll be doing. Maybe journaling. Um, we have our art monthly art folders that we're doing. So probably doing something in that. And all you mods, thank you very much for helping me. And Lena, good to see you. Test all three, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I'll try all different types of paper. Thanks, Lena. Okay. Have fun, everyone. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.